Ron Schott stars Seth Rogen, Charlize Theron, and others. An unemployed journalist starts working for a presidential candidate and his childhood crush. Jonathan Levine directed Ron Schott. It's his third collaboration with Rogen after 50-50 and the night before. I, I seen it three times. I revisited it last Christmas. I'm not a r romantic comedy fan. I've seen very few romantic comedies, but I was still curious about One Shot because I like Seth Rogen and Charlie Theron. I wasn't impressed with the trailers. Well, the th second one was okay. I enjoyed One Shot, but I honestly don't have much to say or I don't have a wealth of information. Seth Rogen, once again, uh, played himself, but I'm not complaining. Fred Forsky is a edgy, clever writer, but he's dim-witted overall. He loved Charlotte since they were teenagers, but he couldn't have her till now. Charlie Theron plays Charlotte Fields, the Secretary of State who really wants to become the first female president. She is a workaholic, but she f falls for Fred because, you know, opposites attract. They have great chemistry. I guess everyone agrees on that. O'Shea Jackson Jr. plays Lance, Fred's su successful best friend. I guess he's a journalist editor. He cracks a lot of jokes, and most of them landed. I've never seen him before. I was never interested in out of Compton or whatever it's called. Annie Circus plays Parker Wimbledon, a media mogul. Fred's a rebel, so he hates him. I'm sure some people recognize Circus, not me. I didn't know it was him until I seen Scott Sullivan's review. If you like m movie reviews, you may want to check him out. Long shot is hilarious. I laughed a lot. Most of my hard laughs came from Jackson. If you've seen any Seth Rogen movie, mainly The Night Before or 5050, you you know what kind of movie you're getting. The second act is really raunchy, so you may feel Levine went too far. There's some drug content, but it's not forced. Long Shot doesn't have any nudity, but it has two sex scenes, which I didn't care for. Mainly the first one, because it was horribly filmed. I think Levine was being tasteful. I was honestly reminded of another Seth Rogen movie, Zack and Mary make a porno. I guess it was quickly forgotten. I've seen it three times. Long Shot is two hours long, and you certainly feel the length. It's 20 minutes over one. I don't care for the subplots. The first one concerned the Canadian Prime Minister, and the second one concerned the environment. It's probably worth mentioning I don't care about politics. Guys, Long Shot is a funny movie. It's charming but raunchy, which may sound weird. Yes, it's f familiar, but no big deal. Overall, Long Shot gets a B. It's better than the trailers. If you like Seth Rogen or Charlie Theron, go see it. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. My Twitter link is down below. Let me know what you think of Long Shot. Did you like it or hate it? I'm seeing D Detective Pikachu tonight. It should be awesome. I'll talk to you later. Alrighty then.